Hello everyone. I hope you are fine and preparing for examination. So with changes in syllabus and the uh, structure of question paper, it becomes very essential to know uh, what is the new structure and uh, what steps uh, you should follow to perform well in the examination. Let's know about each section. So first we'll start with part A. Part A is of 40 marks and it, it uh, reading section carries 18 marks, grammar is of 8 marks and literature section is of 14 marks. Part B is also of 40 marks. It too has reading section that means it is of 8 marks. In writing section uh, the question carries 16 marks and in literature the weighted is same that is 16 marks so it is total of 40 marks so now we discuss the reading section of part a uh, reading section as uh, it has been told carries 18 marks in part a and all questions are mcqs multiple choice questions based on one unseen passage to assess comprehension interpretation and inference vocabulary and inference of meaning will also be assessed the passage may be factual, descriptive, or literary. So uh, it can be from some novel, it can be description of some place, it can be factual data uh, concerning uh, some analysis of some survey or something like that. 10 out of 11 questions to be done. So there will be 11 questions, you have to do 10. Multiple choice, second uh, passage will also be uh, having multiple choice question. Uh, one uh, unseen case based factual passage it may be uh, about some case study it may be of some family some criminal some political situation with verbal or visual inputs like statistical data charts uh, verbal input can be some points and uh, visual input can be some image eight out of nine questions to be done so first passage will carry 10 marks and second will carry 8 marks so the combined word limit for both the passages will be 600 to 750 so it will be around uh, 3 to 375 words each so grammar uh, carries 8 marks and uh, grammar 2 will be multiple choice uh, questions on gap filling like determiners tenses multiple choice questions on reordering and transform or transformation of sentences means you will get either of one so keep in mind this is reordering of sentences and not jumbled words where the words are jumbled mixed up and you have to put them in a logical order to make a, a meaningful sentence so total total eight questions to be done out of ten so here too you have choice as eight questions are to be done so each question uh, carries one mark so literature section has 14 marks so multiple choice question from an extract from poetry from hornbill to assess comprehension and appreciation that means uh, you can uh, critically evaluate different aspects of the poem like similes metaphor intended meaning contrast any one out of two extracts to be done so there will be a uh, choice so two extracts from two different points and you have to do one multiple choice question based on two prose extracts means uh, chapters uh, out of three given from prose so there will be two passages from three given okay uh, that are to be attempted and uh, hornbill as well as snapshot in both the books so assess comprehension so what uh, does this word comprehension mean to understand and explain means uh, to test your ability to understand the text and further give its explanation and similarly appreciation appreciation here doesn't mean praise it means analysis uh, and ability to comment on certain aspects of the text that is story text based multiple choice question to assess comprehension analysis and interpretation so these will not be direct you need to have comprehensive understanding of characters context 
theme, certain expression, so that you not only understand but you can analyze. Analyze means you can interrelate different aspect, and then interpret can explain from prose and poetry, from chapters and poems, how five questions out of six to be done. So let's discuss uh, part B. Part B too has a reading section as we have discussed above. And the first question here is of eight marks. This is note making and summarization based on the passage of approximately of around 200 to 250 words. So let's know the mark distribution. In note making uh, is of five marks. Herein the marks distribution is like this. Title one mark. Numbering and indenting one mark, half mark for each. Uh, sometimes students just make dots as here the mark has been used in, in indentation. But if you do it like this or you make a star or put a hash, you will not be awarded marks. So you'll be losing of both numbering and indenting. Key glossary here means key to symbols and abbreviations. A proper box is to, to be made to for notes. Okay, so that way note making is of uh, five marks. Earlier it was uh, not like this. Uh, one was for title, three was for notes, and one for the key to symbols and abbreviation. So numbering and indenting is to be taken care of. Summary, up to 50 words uh, or a bit more, three marks, content one, uh, two marks, and expression one mark. Let's come to writing section. It is of 16 marks. In short writing task, notice writing up to 50 words. One out of the two given questions to be answered. Three marks, one for format, proper box, name of the organizing body, notice, title, uh, sign, name, post, format. Content, body, what, when, where, why, how, expression, present tense, no use of uh, first or second person pronoun okay uh, short writing task second is poster you can write up to 50 words one out of two given questions to be answered again format uh, a proper box okay slogan fine a catchy expression visual okay special features highlighted do's don'ts or uh, some uh, measures that are very effective punchline issued by okay uh, content again uh, the central theme do's and don'ts expression imperative sentences slogans uh, parallel structure letters based on visual uh, input or verbal input to be answered in 120 to 150 words business or official letters for making inquiries Registering complaints, uh, you register a complaint if the consignment supplied has some defective items. Asking for and giving information, placing order, cancelling orders and sending replies. Letter to school or college authorities regarding admissions, school issues, requirements, suitability of courses. School uh, uh, authorities can be the principal or college authorities can be the dean. Uh, one out of the two uh, given questions to be answered format one mark sender's address date addresses address uh, salutation subject body subscription sign name so this is the format one mark content two marks expression two marks content means the value points okay what is the problem what are the possible solution what is the expected action expression proper use of tense avoiding uh, uh, first and second person pronoun, using formal tone, avoiding emotive or emotional expression. So letter carries five marks. So writing section continued. Writing composition based on visual verbal inputs in 120 to 150 words may be descriptive, argumentative in nature, such as speech, debate, argumentative, I have uh, discussed it uh, uh, that argumentative technique is when you use question answer method you take others point of view into consideration 
in speech general perspective into consideration and countering it uh, through question answer technique the theme should be contemporary uh, topical important issues of our current time like uh, one of it is uh, solid waste uh, cleanliness maintaining hygiene one out of the two given questions to be answered means you are to answer one there is a choice one out of two given uh, marks five one for format means proper beginning with a formal address uh, in if it is a debate uh, you are addressing the members of jury and your opponent if it's a speech you address the principal and your friend uh, content to expressions to uh, content means the points that you cover expression means the addressive tone that you use that there is a use of first person pronoun there is a use of question answer method imperative sentences to add that tone of aggressivity both in speech and debate uh, let's discuss the literature section of part b it is uh, of 16 marks two short of the type question one from prose and one from poetry from the book hornbill out of four to be answered in 30 to 40 words questions should uh, elicit uh, inferential responses means what do you conclude from a particular situation what do you understand uh, through critical thinking analysis like uh, why did the grandmother stop praying uh, because of her love for her grandson okay that is the uh, first and the last time that she omitted praying then one short answer type question from prose uh, snapshots to be answered in 40 to 50 words again it should elicit inferential responses through critical thinking one out of two questions to be done so understanding the text is very important it's not that you just do the summary and you'll be able to manage one long answer type question from prose poetry to be answered in 120 to 150 words to assess global comprehension means understanding of the text that particular chapter in totality and extrapolation beyond the text means how can you relate the theme with uh, the social perspective with the society with your personal experience okay thinking beyond the text questions to provide evaluative and analytical responses so simple summary or length of the answer won't matter your evaluation of a particular aspect or incident uh, would uh, fetch you marks themes as reference points any one out of two questions to be done long answer type question based on chapter from the book snapshot to be answered in 120 to 150 words to assess again the global comprehension i think it's understood now uh, the understanding the text a specific chapter in totality its theme its chapter uh, its characters and extrapolation beyond the text that has been mentioned here extrapolation means you uh, suppose yourself as a particular character and address a certain issue or uh, you share it with your friend or your mother or your brother questions to provide evaluative and anal analytical responses again using incidents events themes as a reference point means you analyze a situation through a specific incident event the central theme of the chapter as a reference point and explain the events and actions through the theme okay any one out of two to be done and both questions will be from snapshot that means there will be an internal it is better if you know that what you are to do and what you are not to do so that your effort may remains focused and you perform best so let's know what are the deleted topics in writing section so that you don't waste your time on the, these like classified advertisement is not there in the syllabus letters to editor are not there uh, okay uh, provide realistic context in the form of newspaper report article to which uh, the students may respond not there okay uh, this is in context of letter to the editor application for job with biodata or resume not there article and report writing not there narrative not there topics in grammar and literature which have been removed like models clauses change of voice 
error correction, editing task or closed passages, these have been removed. In literature, in the book Hornbill, Father to Son, and the adventure, a poem and a chapter have been removed. In snapshot, the heart of the only world and the tale of uh, Melon City, these two chapters have been removed. So you remain focused on uh, what you have been instructed in this video and uh, prepare uh, yourself in a very systematic manner for the exam will definitely perform well. Thank you.